the comments up on the screen as well if you can get those. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from, where you're watching. I want to throw your comment on the screen. And uh, as always, we're going to paint very soon. So a uh, quick first shout out to Snow Dog. You are in South Jersey. Welcome, Jersey. Uh, Tom Cook, I think, I don't know if they're tagging someone, but I'm just going to say hello to Tom Cook as well. You're watching on Facebook. And then Roger Dellen, Deline, uh, saying hello back to you in Sweden, sending love to you. So uh, we're going to start in less than one minute on this live stream. Yes, welcome to Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi, and today I'll be painting a rock and roll icon who set things off a long time ago. But for now, let's paint. All right, welcome to Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi, and uh, not only am I going to create one painting for you today, but I'm also gonna answer your questions while I'm painting. We're gonna chat while I'm painting, and anything else I can creative I can think of to do while I'm painting. But uh, before we get into things, yes, you just saw the video about Paint With happening this Saturday, October 24th, and we'll be, uh, we'll be painting Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. So. I'm not sure if you've seen it yet, but on most of my platforms, definitely Instagram and Facebook, I posted a time lapse of just some parts of what we're painting. And if you don't think you can do it, trust me. I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna be able to lead you through this. Uh, what's cool about the Paint With Sessions is they're very interactive. You can send in your photos while you're creating. We'll put them on the screen, share them with everyone. I can give you real-time feedback as well. And uh, it's just something fun for families and friends to get together to do. So also, quick update before we get to some shout outs. Uh, there's some new posts on my Instagram. If you haven't already done it, or if you don't already follow me there, at Garibaldi Arts. Today, I just posted my very first virtual NFL halftime performance. So a big thank you to the Jaguars for uh, believing in us to, to make that happen. Also, big thank you to Black Tape Company for filming it and also Black Flag Dancers. We, we love black around here. I love wearing black and we hire people with black in their names. But uh, Black Flag Dancers as well. Uh, they're based in Sacramento. They did an incredible job and we painted together, which was super fun. But go check out that post on my Instagram. And then also I have a recent post 
uh, I did a family portrait of uh, the rapper Mozzie. So if you don't know who Mozzie is, go to my Instagram. And so he posted it on his page as well. And I, there was a ton of new followers on there. So I gotta say, Mozzie's got some real influence out there, guys. If you're, I don't know if you guys follow Mozzie, but go do that for to be entertained. Uh, I also posted the time lapse of Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then the post just before that, a portrait of Eminem. So there's a lot of new stuff on my Instagram, at Garibaldi Arts. I post on there daily. If you don't already follow me there, we are live on Instagram as well. So uh, let's do some quick shout outs before we get into the painting. So yes, Trevor Tooley says, uh, it's been a while since I caught a stream. I kept missing them. Well, Trevor, you're here. I got you covered. Nicole Nixon watching on YouTube, sending love back to you as well. I love the love. We're gonna show love to the love. So Tom Cook in Minneapolis watching on Facebook as well. Great White 28, hey, back to you. Are you watching on YouTube? Uh, let's see. So Lee, Jay Wallen, looking forward to the, this evening. Yes, it is the evening in the UK. Uh, still an avid UK watcher. Thank you, Lee. I appreciate you tuning in and watching. Deanna Meyerson, sending love back to you, watching live from Sacramento. Thank you for that. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's go down. Oh, let's, let's actually, Colin Smith will answer that. Uh, do you do donate all your art or do you keep it? Uh, neither one. So I do donate some. Uh, we do sell a lot of artwork and originals as well. But others I do just keep for sentimental value. Uh, just depends, depends on, on what it is or, or how popular the painting is. So thank you for asking that. Uh, all right, let's get into today's painting. Uh, and again, if you're watching this on TikTok and Instagram, go to the link in my bio to watch this in HD. Otherwise, if you're over here, let's paint. All right, welcome back everybody. Sorry, I was a little dazed. Um, so I've got one painting for you guys today. Again, thank you for tuning in and watching Art Life Live. We do these live streams every Thursday and Friday around this time of day. But if you miss it, don't worry. Uh, every single time, every single one is um, uploaded right away to my YouTube and the Facebook. And so it's there to watch always. So let's see. So I already got some questions coming in. And uh, we're gonna answer Stephanie's question, not right now, but in a little bit. And make sure you remember to, to ask me that. And uh, if you have any other questions during this live stream, just ask below in the chat. And uh, we're gonna get through this painting right now. Let's do this. All right, let's paint. So this painting today, it is a favorite of mine. You know, sometimes I try to do things that are involving current events, but today I just needed a break from current events. I just want to do something that's classic, that's fun, that I enjoy. And so that is the inspiration for today. Otherwise, um, thank you all for watching, tuning in, being a part of this. While I'm painting these, I would love to hear from you. So if you have any questions, you can ask below in the chat. I'll answer those questions. But I did see a question come through. <laughs> and uh, it was Stephanie on Facebook, if I can recall. Yeah, so that's a great question. So Stephanie asked, do I have to get copyright permission to paint famous people or even characters like The Nightmare Before Christmas? And uh, you only need to get um, permission is if, and you'll have to consult your lawyer for this, but you'll have to get permission if you start doing copies of that, um, that work. So if you start selling prints or if you're copying exactly 
from a certain photo that they own and you know monetizing off of that otherwise uh, there are laws that protect creatives and uh, we take full advantage of that so otherwise just enjoy painting and if they tell you to not do it then just don't do it there's so many other things to paint so either way uh, we have not had any issues knock on wood with that before so thank you for your question let me know if you have any other questions that I can answer for you today I'm going I'm going straight into this undertone by the way this this is these are the colors that I want to show and I want to be left over once I start adding some skin tones on top of this. So these will be like little accents, little treats all throughout the painting while I'm doing it. That, you know, you really won't see until later on and appreciate it. But everything I do really serves the final image. So I always consider like, yes, I could get this painting done and, and you know, in a super fast pace, but I want to add things that add quality to the painting after it's done, after it's hanging on the wall. And these little techniques that I do, like these colors for the undertone, these are the things that help, at least in my opinion, give it that little extra life. Okay, so I'm um, sorry, Fred on what? All right, so Fred on Twitch asks, why do I use two brushes? And I use two brushes because that's how I, I just find a balance uh, when I do this. And also I'm not using, I don't look at it like I'm using a left or right hand. I look at it like I'm using the right or left side of my body. So um, it's, it's just a, a thing. Also, it helps me get the paintings done a lot quicker as well. It literally in, you know, 50% of the time I can get it done because I'm using two hands. But it's also just a preferred way. I love to, I love the paint. All right, so someone asked, have I ever painted a self-portrait? Yeah, actually I just drew one last night, but it's definitely not something that I, that I do uh, often, so. All right, so someone just asked, how long have I been painting? I've been painting professionally for 17 plus years, but I've been an artist my entire life. And, uh, you know, when I, my first paintings were graffiti when I was in high school. And then I upgraded to actual paint when I was about 20 years old. Mm. Who's the most famous person who's bought a piece? Um, I mean, I would say, I don't know if I want to put them on blast. I will say uh, what, what people have collected. I would, uh, I would say this, um, Danny Green, who just won the uh, championship, uh, championships with the Lakers and some others before that. He's a collector of mine. Did some stuff for him when he was in uh, San Antonio, actually. So some of you may be able to see the title, depending on what platform you're watching this on. You may start to see this come to life. But again, send your questions in and ask below in the chat while I'm painting, I'll answer those.
sure many of you are starting to see this famous profile come to life. You can, uh, if you don't see it in your description already, you can leave your guesses down below. You know what's interesting is, even though you see the, you may see it in the title, you know, the, the process of these paintings, even while I'm doing it, I st it still has to happen. It, you know, it's, it's not being printed on the canvas and I still have to make sure every brush stroke leads towards the final destination of this portrait. So it's always a, a mystery, even for me sometimes. I'm like, how is this gonna come out? Even once we add these, these colors, it's still not done. It's still, still I mean, want to add some other highlights or things that I just didn't plan. Just gotta let art happen sometimes. All right, so uh, someone said, do I ever get commissioned to do murals or what? Or other street art, yes, I have. I've been commissioned quite a few times to do uh, different murals. I don't really do a lot in my hometown, which is kind of weird. I don't really, I guess I don't get asked that much here. But there are definitely some all over the place. All right, I'm gonna get some, get another brush. I'm gonna go in a little bit more of these highlights. It's white. Oh, that's a great question. So someone says, is there anyone else that does performance painting like I do? And yes, there is. There's actually quite a bit of performance painters out there. Um, some that I know that I can, you know, friends of mine, people like Dave Sharp, who is in the UK, um, some other performance painters out there, Vilas Nayak, who is based in India, an amazing artist. Um, man, who else off the top of my head? Rest in peace, Brian Olson uh, passed away earlier this year, but he was definitely someone that I looked up to that, that did it. Um, there's, there's a lot of other performance painters out there. They may go under speed painting or speed painter, but I call it performance painting. If it's a show, we put on a show. But go look up the hashtag on Instagram. You'll see some. Also, shout out to uh, Ricardo Arts, who's based in Las Vegas, who is actually a student of mine. Uh, DK Lee, who is a former assistant of mine, he's doing it as well. So yeah, there's, it's a very, very rare world, but there are artists out there for sure. Great question. So someone said, am I ambidextrous in anything else besides painting? I could definitely use my both hands doing several different uh, activities, but um, I definitely use it more when I'm painting. I don't know, I think it's kind of like a, like a mind trick almost. It's like once you realize it's not about using your hands, that there's other techniques involved. Doesn't seem as hard. All right, let's leave that alone. So we're just doing. You can see it already coming to life. We're doing a quick painting of Elvis Presley today. What's that? That's a great question. So someone said, where do I donate my art? Uh, 
know if you guys remember the most recent um, painting I did for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I actually donated the proceeds to the sale of that, and I'll share that on my story soon, to uh, Malena Cares, which is a nonprofit that helps people that are battling cancer. Um, but we donated to everyone from the Special Olympics to uh, American Cancer Society. I mean, there's just a ton of different uh, organizations, but any, any organization that's really empowering people, those are the ones that I try to go for. Keep this going. Moving today. All right, so someone said or asked, what kind of canvas do I use? And I just use a black gessoed canvas. So if you go on Google and just look up black canvas, I mean, it's pretty common. It's, there's nothing really special about this one, but that's all it is. It's just a gessoed black canvas. So someone asked, where do I get my supplies? My paint is from Home Depot. And uh, the other supplies, the, the supplies, the uh, brushes that I use, I just get those off of Amazon. There's actually a link in my bio to use the same brushes that I'm using. So just go to my, the link in my bio. It says Amazon Art Supplies, and you'll see a list there. So someone said, do I ever use glitter or metallics in my paint? No, I do not. All right. Let's hit this with some spray paint. By the way, I know a lot of my um, paintings I do on here, I take my time a lot more, but I miss this. I miss like moving while I paint. And it's just a different paint, that like, painting that comes out of this movement than I can do something that's, that I'm taking my time on. All right. All right, so take one last look at this uh, Elvis Presley painting. Just one quick one for you today. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna have a quick chat before we end this live stream. We'll take one close look and we'll end this soon. Go to that center cam. Thank you again everybody for uh, joining us for this Art Life Live stream. We do this every Thursday and Friday around this time. So we'll be back again tomorrow. 
But don't go anywhere. We're gonna have a quick chat and some questions. You can take out uh, Instagram and TikTok close to it. Yeah, so take one close look at it and then we'll end this live stream. good that's that pace I miss that pace man I miss that pace so those of you wondering I don't know if you have ever seen a real-time performance but most paintings take six to seven minutes on average that one I took a little bit longer but still just moving at a faster pace it just feels good and so uh, anyway All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, by the way, that text number down below, if you're in the US and you text that number, if you text Art Life to 58885, it enters you to win one of these paintings. Let's just take a look at the Elvis Presley painting, just real quick. So uh, today, you know, I wanted to stay away from current events. I just wanted to have fun today, a portrait I haven't done in a while, so that's why I did the Elvis super quick but uh, before we wrap things up there's a question on Instagram that I want to answer and it's uh, Sasha Sasha Safa design uh, asked just how do you know how to price artwork I really struggle with valuing my work and so the I love that he used the word value in this because that has everything to do with pricing your artwork I'm actually gonna post a video about this on Monday it's already ready to go but Pricing your artwork it involves two factors. So one is just your cost, simple. What does it cost you to create that art? Your materials, you can include your time, or if you have any extra expenses. And also, not that one painting should cover all your costs, but we'll get to that in a second. But just think about your cost. The other part is value. That's the amount that you add on top of your cost. Now, what value of an experience or what value of your art are you giving your clients? Is this something that when they buy, it's gonna be worth more in the future? Now, how do you raise that value number? And it's depending on a lot of different factors. Uh, I would say the main, the main part is building trust with your audience. So we think about your value as like your brand. Are you someone that people can depend on that you're gonna keep creating and selling so when they buy your artwork, that amount you sold it for, the value keeps itself retained. Also with the value, are you investing into your brand? Are you investing into who you are, um, you know, your reputation as an artist? So there's a lot of different things that you can do to, to raise your value. And it's something that's a longer conversation that I would love to have. And maybe through a, a course, I can uh, walk someone through that. But uh, specifically, how you price your artwork breaks down to those two factors. What is your cost? And how many paintings of those do you have to sell to cover your cost throughout a week, a month, or so on. The other part is value, and that is really who you are and your reputation and your trust with your audience determines that value. And that value is also affected by, are you investing into that part of it? Are you doing projects for free that will help build your value, or are you building relationships to help build your value? So that is, the, that is the, the, the simple part of it, and I hope that helped. But um, 
The best thing you can do as an artist is to invest in your value of who you are and build your trust. So, all right, we're gonna um, end this live stream. We had a quick one painting one today. We will be back tomorrow at uh, around this time, three, four o'clock Pacific Standard Time. You can also set your notifications on for all my accounts or at least the, uh, the YouTube one so you know when I go live. If you don't already subscribe on my YouTube channel, go subscribe, just look me up at Garibaldi Arts. Uh, and I'll leave you with just one last thing. Again, this Saturday, registration is, is almost filled up or almost done, but this Saturday we're doing a paint with Garibaldi, which is uh, a virtual paint night experience. And I'll walk you through step by step. We present it with multiple camera angles, with music, and uh, you can join people from all over the world as we paint together. So go visit GaribaldiArts.com forward slash paint, or there's a link in my bio on all my platforms. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching this live stream. I appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. My name is David Garibaldi. Take one last look at Elvis Presley hanging on the wall there.